Hi everybody, Fox Nomad here, and today I want to help you travel smarter by re-examining a mystery. A mystery that began about a year ago with my review of Mint Mobile. It was then I noticed an unusually high amount of data usage, both when compared to my previous provider and when compared to my phone's data usage statistics, I had been using two, three, even more times the data than I normally did. And not because I was actually using more data. The high data usage is what Mint Mobile is recording, but doesn't match with what my phone is showing. It's a mystery I've tested with different phones and with different carriers. And if you want to see those videos, I'll link to those under the subscribe button below. But in short, basically when I'm using Mint Mobile, my data usage is exceptionally high. But now I think I have a plausible explanation that might have you checking your phone's data usage as well, no matter which carrier you might be using. All right, so we started out things with this mystery about my Mint Mobile usage and about how it's using so much data, but why does any of that matter? Well, the data usage issue isn't isolated to just me. Many customers on Mint Mobile have reported this kind of unusual usage, and when you're on a limited data plan, going over in a given month means you'll have to pay more to top it off. That means your budget for gigabyte Mint Mobile plan isn't so budget anymore once you've had to add data on it for $15 a pop. For those of you keeping count, I've tracked apps to make sure they're not leaking data. I've used different phones. I've switched carriers back and forth from Mint Mobile to test on different networks to see what was going on. But all of my basic troubleshooting methods didn't uncover a really good explanation as to why this was happening. Even Mint Mobile's head of marketing reached out, putting me in touch with their VIP customer support to see if they could track down the issue. They were able to show me a record of my data usage, which let me chart days and times where there were spikes. The data was useful and provided more information, corroborating what I had noticed on my billing and through my phone statistics. Which is, when I'm using Mint Mobile, at least on most months, and I'm not on an unlimited plan, my data usage is exceptionally high, much higher than my average data usage, which is around 3 gigabytes per month at most. So why might this be happening? Well, it turns out about 10 years ago, a study at UCLA might provide us with a good working theory. Back then, the study was performed on two large U.S. cell towers. These two towers are said to have covered about 50% of mobile subscribers, meaning it was some likely combination of the three big market players in the U.S. That's AT&T, Verizon, and T-Mobile. T-Mobile, of course, being the network Mint Mobile runs on, but this study didn't specify which networks it was testing against. The researchers used test phones configured with data logging apps that would record data on the phone and then would also record the data it was receiving from the mobile network. They found that carriers tended to count data usage correctly, with some exceptions. And the major exceptions being while video or audio streaming, particularly when the network connection was weak or unreliable. And why this happens is actually pretty interesting. The reason stems from the fact that mobile operators count data that is sent over their network whether or not your phone receives it. Which makes sense if you think about it. The mobile network operators don't want to have to rely on everybody's phone to be able to calculate data usage and consumption. Because that ultimately comes down to money. It comes down to how much they're going to charge you for that data usage. Network operators count what they can control, which is the network data that they send to you, whether or not your device receives it. It's sort of like the mail. You pay for postage when you send a letter and not when it's delivered. Post offices do this because it's simpler to charge at the origin of the message rather than having the recipient pay to pick up a postcard. Likewise, network operators do the same. They count data at the origin, basically the data that they send to you. Again, whether or not your phone receives it. Under normal circumstances, this works fine and data is counted correctly, which is exactly what the study found. Here's a simple example. Most apps and web browsers request data from a network who then sends it to your phone. Say you go to foxnomad.com. Once the page is loaded correctly, typically the browser will send a message back to the network confirming just that. It's sort of a, hey, I got what I needed, thanks. But with video and audio streaming, many of the protocols do not require your phone to acknowledge receipt of every data chunk. In other words, the network may continue to send your phone the video streaming file even if your phone isn't receiving it. Maybe the network is choppy or you're driving through an area with weak service, or you're getting bounced around between different cell towers. And a lot of the reason this happens is because video and audio streaming protocols want to keep the bandwidth as optimized as possible, so it's not going to reply back to every data chunk that it's receiving. Overall, the researchers found about a 5-7% to 7 discrepancy in their tests. 
I'm not saying that's what's happening in my case, but I do stream a lot of video and I do stream a lot of audio files, especially when I'm in the car. So it means I'm moving from cell tower to cell tower in different areas of reliability. I also stream a lot when I'm at the gym or when I'm running. So I use a lot of video and audio streaming files. So it kind of puts me in this scenario where the network might be sending me more data than my phone is actually receiving. When I'm on other carriers, just my average mobile data usage per month is about five gigabytes. When I'm using Mint, it hits up about 15, 10, 15 gigabytes per month, which is really a lot more than five or 7%. It's more like 200% more than I'm actually using, but still this could be some kind of explanation. I don't think, like I said in other videos, I don't think this is something malicious that they're doing. I don't think it's some conspiracy to make more money. I just think it's something that's happening with the count and that there's some discrepancy, some technical discrepancy going on. On Mint Mobile, I've hit 10, 15 gigabytes on average. So maybe, just maybe, it's not that my phone is secretly using more data. It's just that the network is counting data that my phone and your phone ultimately might not be receiving. I'm curious though, if any of you using Mint Mobile or other carriers have had similar issues, let me know down in the comments below. Let me know what you think about this theory, if it holds up, or if you have your own theories of your own, I'll be down in the comments to check out what you have to say. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.